Welcome to We Sam's World. We are live <laughs> wait, on wait, Adobe wait, the Radio. The camera wasn't on you. I wasn't ready. Sorry. Okay, we are. We're starting again, and I'm I'm doing my best here, not just to be a, a good person and and then and, and be level-headed. And we got a great show coming up for you. We got Josh Server from all that, and I'm doing my best we, because my you know my awesome producers here. Yeah. They, sometimes. Sometimes they get me, you know. And, and we actually have a sponsor who might help you with that's, that kind of stuff too. That's true. Yeah. Um, last week we had a sponsor, and oh, wait, they were no, better no, help. No. That's right. It's, yeah. This isn't the episode. Right. That we have the. <laughs> <sighs> wow, wow. Can I hit the oops now? No. Okay. Um, <laughs> you know what, guys? We're not starting over. Okay. <laughs> we're that gonna, was it. We're gonna we're gonna push through this. Because we're all friends yes. and we all like each other. Yes. Yeah. All jokes aside, I think this is hilarious, so we should keep it in. I think okay. we should keep every single uh, yes, second. Yes, that's what I'm saying. Great. And I agree it with you guys. <laughs> 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 Let's check in. First of all, if you're listening live on Adobe Radio, make sure you follow us at WeSamsWorld, at WeSamKeesh, at Alexandra Gorski, at Peyton Grufik, at Zeke Duhon Music, it's so you can stay Zeke up to... Duhon. Sorry. I'm, I'm, no, music. No, no music at the end. Sorry. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> uh, I think this... I, <sighs> he said that for like the past... I know, like, and I haven't corrected him. Why so have you not corrected him? I don't yet? know. I just... I don't know. I he just have too scared. You've scared Yeah, him. you've scared me. You are a scary guy, we say. How am I scary? You've changed. You've, you've changed. changed. <laughs> Listen, man. <laughs> okay? <laughs> Listen, dead by daylight guy. Whoa. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. That is my brand. He woke up at 4 a.m. to <laughs> film a video about a leak that happened. I did literally, I, I woke up at 8 in the morning. Mm -hmm. I look on Twitter, and I realize a bunch of Dead by Daylight shit has leaked. And I go, I got to make a video about that. But I know my wife is still sleeping. My neighbors are still sleeping. I threw on clothes in 15 minutes and drove here, sat in Wee Sam's chair right there, and edited wow. a video in like an hour. Threw it up. It has over 100 views right now. It's doing good. Nice. Should we flag you for stealing a brand? Like We Sam's World brand? Yeah, I don't show the, any logos this, or anything. I don't even okay. think my this Dead by studio. Daylight audience knows that I do this. <laughs> he has permission to I'm use just this. Using. I know. He has permission. I'm going to start using I'm going to put this over there and everything and start just putting it in the background. And everybody's going to be like, what's We Sam's World? I'm like, I don't know. I don't know. I found it this way. That would be so rude. <laughs> <laughs> Everything else going well for you, Peyton? Yes, but I wanted to talk with you because apparently there's something you're upset with me about yeah. that I need to know. I never brought it up, and it's been years. Oh, I thought you were going to bring it up in the intro. I thought that's why I did. I was making no, a No, I know. This is... Oh, okay. Yeah, this is okay, yeah, yeah, where yeah. I could bring Segway's it up. It's happening. You know, whenever you um, got your PS5? Yeah. You never told me like you were getting yours. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I did though. Yeah, after you bought it, and you never told okay. me right before you went out. Listen and so, here. Um, I just never expressed that sadness and disappointment to you, and I thought like, oh, we agreed like you know we would tell each other. I and did. I the, uh, five minutes after I learned and placed the order, I immediately texted you. Five minutes after. I don't think he liked the order I did it. He didn't like that I didn't text him first, yeah. then place my order. Yeah. Yeah. It's fine. You, you know, I, I, and honestly, it doesn't really bother me anymore. Especially because you I got just, one that night. I did get one that night. Yeah. I it's survival it. of the fittest for getting a PS5. And I am the fittest. Exactly. You yes. didn't even get it. So in the end, did you care enough to get one? You know, we have a great guest coming up today. <laughs> And we're going to have a lot of new listeners coming on the show. <laughs> and I'm not going to be the bad guy in this episode. Okay? I don't know. I'm going to show them that you're the bad guy. That's fair. Okay. Okay. And it's fine. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. And we're still friends. We are. Yeah. But I was just expressing something to you that, you know, just hurt my feelings a little bit. I know. I know. And I'm sorry. That's okay. I'm sorry we're you're holding it. a grudge about that. I can't wait till we turn off these cameras. <laughs> I'm just gonna beat the shit out of you. Oh my god. <laughs> I am just gonna. I am just. Uh, we Sam just punches me all the time in the studio. Dude, I would never Wait. punch you. I would. I would. I know. I would kill you if I punched I you. No, we still need to do that fight though. 
Remember, I get all the protective gear. We we yeah. take all the precautions, and then we just we fight each other. Because that will be hilarious. That is content right there. I think it should be me and you versus me. <gasps> Ooh, we oh, tag dude. team. <laughs> I would do that in a heartbeat. <laughs> yeah. This sounds so fun. We need yeah. to do this. Okay. Okay. Maybe next guy's next. Or how about a sumo? Like, you know those sumo suits that you can the get? The big inflatable. Those big things. Mm -hmm. And you beat each other with, like, big giant Q-tips. That'd be mm -hmm. fun. We should do that. Yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll take care of this. All right? Okay. If you can pay for everything, you got it, man. I'll take oh. care of it. <laughs> you got it, man. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Here's my credit card. <laughs> oh shit! I switched the camera for it. Doesn't exist. I was just so excited. We'll be right back uh, with Josh Server. <laughs> We're neighbors. Yes. Literally in the same neighborhood. Yes. Are you hearing the construction too? Uh, all the time. Yeah. And they also just recently uh, changed it to permit, right? Did you did you guys? Uh, do, is that not on? Like we're literally separated by a street. Oh my gosh. Right. So on our side of the street, they changed to permit parking, so we had to do that. You know. Oh. So there used to be just like an insane amount of parking, and now there's not. Wow. Without without the going through the permit process, so there's been lots of neighborhood changes. The d the DoorDash not DoorDash place. What's it called? Uh, DoorDash, Kitchen. DoorDash Kitchen is on Lancashire, and all those drivers who are picking up food, and so it's there's so little parking anywhere. Yeah. In that area. Yeah. And the construction and stuff. So, yeah, it's a lot of noise in the mornings. It's okay. It's all good. Yeah. 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 yeah, it's driving we're, me crazy. Are, it's, I, I can tell. Are you not sleeping well? No, I wake up every morning to. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. It's, it's just like in sleep debt, you know. Yeah. Do you wake up early or do you do you kind of stay up? late? You know, it's early? funny. I've always been like an evening later guy, but mm -hmm. recently I've been trying to force myself to change my schedule a little bit and get up early and mm -hmm. you know work on stuff in the morning. Like those are more, you know. Uh, productive hours yeah but I ha I've had to shift that like going to the gym in the morning and all those things are just not natural for me I've always like done it the other way Wow well uh, you're in shape man thank you I've seen some of your pictures on uh, the Instagram oh those are old, old those old, old that's picture. not current yeah no no I mean I no I, you look great thank you yeah thank you how old are you now uh, 43 just Dude. turned 43 looking yeah. great thank you brother good jeans I'm um, yeah I'm lucky my dad has the you know hair yeah. Still, I, or is that, or is that supposed to come from your, your mom's dad? Is that right? I don't know because he was bald, so mm. I don't know if that's accurate. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna ride it as long as I can. It's okay, know? bro. Science. Yeah, we do it sometimes <laughs> in here. It's okay. <laughs> Thank uh, you. That's very nice. <laughs> How old are you? Uh, timeless. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I. <laughs> That's we're gonna put all that on the photos that yeah. we post. This. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's the way I would have described you as timeless. So Thank you. Yes. Yes. Thank you. That's. Um, I feel uh, like an old, old man sometimes, you know. Yeah, like an old soul? Old soul. Really Have old Have you always soul. felt like that? Yeah. Um, there's a video of me, I think, in preschool with my legs crossed over one another where I was really upset during the graduation <laughs> because the... I <laughs> mean, just like sitting like, a, like a, an older man who has... Yeah, because I was pissed off because some other person got to hold the American flag and not me. And so I was just very upset. Just but, in your... Yeah. Yeah. Oh, God. We could actually pull it up. Do we I, have that photo? I really... It's a video of me on Instagram. Yeah, it's on my Instagram stories, like save stories. Um, yeah, man, I, I always felt like that. I mean, I believe in reincarnation, so... Uh, I do I too. Yeah. I do too. I'm, I haven't gotten deep into that, like, learning about that yet, mm. but I'm, I'm, I'm... Yes, I do. Yep. Um, it's always fascinating. There's me. There's me pointing at the kid I don't Little like. Little wee Sam. Yeah, to my parents. Saying, can you believe this BS? Yeah. But <laughs> look at that. Yeah. That's. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So you've always been like that. I feel like I've always been an old soul too. Yeah. 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 Uh, so are you just not going to answer the question? Oh, I'm okay, uh, thir 34. Okay, Sorry. Great. I literally <laughs> forgot. <laughs> yeah. There we go. This button has come in handy so many times already. I love it. 
Um, you look great for 34, brother. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Yeah. I like how we're just complimenting each other. Yeah. The fun. whole episode, <laughs> right? People log off right away. We I watched 10 minutes, and all they did was these just two actors just told each other how great they looked, and that was it. It was two hours. It was just not very profound. It seemed very surface level to me, and I just I had to log off. Oh my gosh. <laughs> we're just losing subscribers with <laughs> But I mean I guess that's better than not you know, ga- we're just gassing each other up. That's nice. You should we should lift each other up in this town, right? So, there you go. There we go. There you go. Yeah. And there is not enough of that, I feel like. I agree. Or unhealthy amounts of it. Uh where it's not uh not real. Yes. Right. Where for instance, if you had a colleague and okay, here's a here's a what if scenario. Okay. Now we're we're feeling each other out. Okay. Love it. We're, let's Here's a, here's a what if. Let's say you have a friend, colleague as well, and they put out a short film, and it's terrible. Okay? Like, okay. it's... it, But you know they're capable of more. How would you... And they're like, so what do you think? What's your honest feedback to them? How, how, how would you give it? That's challenging because mm-hmm. obviously it's... Anytime you put out anything, you make anything, you're really putting yourself out there, right? Mm-hmm. To any kind of art or anything, it's 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 brave to put and make anything and be like, hey, what do you think? So I think it would depend on the relationship that I had with that person. If I feel like they could take um, really, really, you know, honest feedback and criticism and they could use that to like better themselves and get better, I think I would, I would tell them the real deal. But I mean, you know, also it's just, I don't know, that's a, that's a tough, it's a tough question. Yeah. It's a tough question because you don't want to break someone's spirit. Maybe they're in their process, right? Maybe they're learning and you're not necessarily the one that's going to, right? But if you go hard at them and say, oh, this isn't good, and then then they stop, that you don't want to be part of that person, like, stopping. Mm. You know what I mean? So that's, like, act, I feel like there's a responsibility there before you act to, like, step back and go, okay, well, is this is this positive or negative feedback really going, like, is that my is that my job to... Um, mm. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. You know, and and like, and, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, it's like when you were a kid, you know, or or, or whatever. And like, uh, I'll give you an example. So like, I was in the school plays when I, you know I started acting really young, right? Uh, and then, but every time, like, I've just never been a very gifted uh, singer. And but the, all the school plays would have, you know, like you'd be the lead in the play, and you'd have to, you know do the vocal part, right? Like you're in Pete's Dragon, you gotta, you yeah. gotta sing it. And then every time I would like start to sing in the school play, all the audience would go, ooh, right? Like, you know, you know? Cause it just wasn't, I I, it. I, I'm not like a triple threat, right? Right. Uh, I think it's something I could get better. I'm not tone deaf, but I remember like there were people in my life, my family were like, oh, you're tone deaf, you can't sing, right? Yeah. And so at that point you just stop, mm. right? And you just don't even try to work on that skill set anymore. So I think it can be dangerous to like give someone too harsh of feedback, depending on the situation. But that's why I think it's really important uh, to understand that dynamic with that person. Absolutely. Is that? Yeah. No, I think you're correct in establishing your dynamic and your relationship first, knowing where you stand with each other, how comfortable you are with each other, and how honest you are with each other first. And then right. from there, go, okay, how are they feeling on today? Yeah. Do I, do I think they're open to is it? Is that a colleague? Is it an acquaintance? Or is it someone really that you're really, you know what I mean? I think it's just, it's it's a, that's a scale. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Uh, that's okay. New to the podcast. Sorry. <laughs> I haven't done many podcasts. It's my first pod. No. no. Um, <laughs> I tend to lean on the too honest side. Got it. And Which isn't a bad thing. Like you don't want to. No, it's it, it kind of got me in a little bit of hot water once. Re- uh, re- uh, recently? No, this is when I first moved to LA. I'll share it now because I don't. You know, I'm a working you're actor. Ju- you're just out it, here, just out here blasting people's shorts. Oh, oh, <laughs> not people's shorts, Josh. Brace yourself. This is a... Oh, I feel like this is going to be a good story. One of, at the time, the most uh, six, successful in this type of genre of film and um, popular music. So I had a buddy. I'm not going to... Uh, yeah, I definitely won't say my buddy's name unless he wants to come on the show. Uh, he was well, He might a, not after the, yeah, right? <laughs> after the story. He was a... The story. Like a... Uh, like he he was part of the post production of a film, and sometimes they do they do uh, 
uh, screen tests, you know, for like the film to get some audience feedback, mm -hmm. right? And then, um, have you ever gone to one of those where you actually fill out the form? I have. Okay. I have. So I'm like, oh, cool. They want honest feedback because this is for Warner Brothers. Right. <laughs> so, did you cross your legs that you were just like, <laughs> "Oh yes"? Let me just, let me just tell you, bro. I was like, "Get me another pen, <laughs> more paper." <laughs> Act three is starting. Hurry up! And you just went in. This card was filled up front to back, and my buddy is standing there next to a woman who is the director of this film. Actually, I won't mention the film just because I'm yeah, really yeah. nervous now. Yeah, you no, probably, I mean. Yeah, there's yeah, no reason to. You're doing good. Let's not, let's not knock you off your track here. Right. Um, and so. <laughs> Blackball you from Hollow. <laughs> it, was, it was this podcast that gets you blackballed from Hollow. <laughs> and so my, my buddy is standing there and he's like, hey, what'd you think? And he's standing next to this woman who is the director who I don't know. And I just hand him the, the slip of paper and I go, we're going to need some reshoots. <laughs> wow. He was like, ah. <laughs> yeah. It was so, so afterwards, I didn't know who she was, right? And then afterwards, he's like, hey, you know who I was standing next to, right? And I was like, no. And he's like, that's the director of the film. I'm like, oh, right. oh my God. Uh-oh. That yeah. was a little too much. And then he's like, yeah, yeah, it yeah. was. Uh, that's also probably just like one of those old Hollywood stories where you're just like, oh, I learned a really valuable lesson there that you have no idea who you're standing next to. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Right. It was. Did you, can I ask, did you really have that many strong feelings about, like, oh, what yeah. propelled you to? <laughs> Dude, this the film. Was... Okay, got yeah. it. So yeah. you just yeah, felt, I'll, I'll... you felt a calling yeah, I gotta to write just it go too. in on the notes. Yeah, uh, <laughs> uh, I don't know her name. Uh, uh, gosh, I I really don't know. Uh, yeah. Okay. okay. But Got it was it. another film that they had done, and it was even worse than those. Okay. And it was it just didn't make sense. Right. It just didn't make sense. Yeah. And, and have honest, you always not have you have you always not had a filter? Um, it's gotten less and less well, yeah. living out here. Yeah. 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 But. I'm it's not, such an interesting thing because you always have to still be transparent and you don't want to like be unauthentic, but you also have to like taper it a little bit. I don't know. Maybe that's the right way to. Yeah. Yeah. I don't want to be huge, rude. Huge judgment, you know. I don't want to be rude and I don't want to hurt anybody's feelings, but at the same time, I don't believe in this. I don't like fake like facade kind of stuff, ho fake Hollywood things. I, I, I like, I, I don't know. I just, it's, it's, it's hard for my... When I see something like, I don't know, uh, I mean, you've said this before, like, my f it's hard for my face to hide what I'm really feeling yeah, sometimes. Yeah, I, I have that, I have the same thing. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah I just, it's getting get it. less and less. No, you don't, I mean, it's it's such a, that's a delicate dance, right? Mm -hmm. Like, learning how to give, be real, but not be, um, I think it's about intention, you know? Mm -hmm. You don't, you don't want to be hurtful. No. But you don't want to be uh, not, not real. Yes. And then go, going back to like the feedback for colleagues and friends, yeah, I always feel like if my circle of people, we always want to better ourselves. And whatever feedback we're giving each other, it's never a personal attack. Right. It's always, hey, how can I bring out the best in you or you can bring out the best in me? How can, hey, I noticed here it was lacking. Is there a reason for that? Here's a chink in your armor. Maybe you should strengthen that up. I, I believe I believe in that too, and I think it just depends on the group, right? Like yeah. if the if the group is all about growing and bettering themselves and learning, right? Yeah. Uh, I think it just I think it depends. On, it's that's a tough thing. That's a tough question. Good yeah. good question to start off this. You know, dude, I'm so good. No, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome, man. It's a good question. It's a tough question. Yeah. Yeah. It's almost like when sometimes when you find out. Uh, like after the fact if you break up with someone like that people don't like that person right and they didn't mm. want to tell you it's like it's just a di it's a difficult it's a difficult thing do you you know sometimes yeah <laughs> what else uh, well I, I was about to bring this up but then I'm like he probably doesn't want his personal business I know somebody mm -hmm. who was in the middle of dating somebody and they kind of broke it off recently and they were telling me uh, like a couple red flags and I'm like oh end it oh end it dude yeah yeah not not the person for you. He's like, yeah, but I don't. I'm like, I, yeah, I'm like, no, no, end it, end it, end it, end it. And then they're married, and then you're like the dude that said end it, <laughs> you know. 
<laughs> you like stand. You're like in standing in the wedding, and you're the end it guy. <laughs> Just gotta be careful. <laughs> okay. I don't want to. I don't. I don't think we should go there. <laughs> I'm trying to see if I should. I'm not going to mention his name, by the way. And uh, this guy's a great guy, um, but uh, I. Oh man, oh gosh, no! I is can't. this whole can't. podcast going to be about typing names that you, we can't <laughs> relate to the I'm audience? S- I'm just trying to keep a we're career tr- going. We're, okay? we're in the trust tree now. <laughs> we, we Sam, I love it. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, is that a that's a tattoo, right? Yes, I have. It's, you have many. Yeah. I saw some pictures. It's of them. a slippery slope. Do you have any? No. If you because if you get one, they really it's weird. They're they're addictive. Yeah. I, I would get... have more, but like you know, with acting, it's it's at some point it's a lot to cover. Mm. Uh, but I just at some point I was just like I like them and I want to live my life. So you know, as you should. Yeah. I kind of want to get a big back piece, but then I always feel like who was I two years ago and would I have liked that two years ago. So Fair everybody's enough. different. Well, no, it's, it's you know, funny people are like, oh, you know, everyone gets tattoos when they're young. I've actually gotten more as I've gotten older because mm. I do know what I like more. Mm. I like that. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, you know, maybe you can also afford better tattoos. <laughs> True. Because <laughs> there's nothing worse than a cheap tattoo. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh you know? man. You ever, you ever kind of judge somebody whenever they have a bad tattoo? No, uh, you're a good person. No. I try not to because <laughs> I've had bad ones that I've gotten them covered. And, yeah. Oh, yeah, you yeah, did? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah okay, okay. Yeah, so I try, to, uh, yeah, I try to respect people's tattoo journey. <laughs> That's so, such a nice way of putting it. I will be the not nice guy of this podcast. Then. That's okay. I've seen some tattoos where I'm like, Ooh, we're, do we, are we doing good? We do a good cop, bad cop? Yeah, yeah. Oh, you're definitely the good I, cop. Uh, Everybody loves you right now. No. Everybody's like, ah, it's We Sam. Yeah, but he's dangerous. He's got, We Sam's cop has got a secret. <laughs> dude, I would love to play a dangerous cop. Yeah. Oh, dude. Yeah. I want to play a wild cop who's just off the rails constantly. Like, uh, really like, dark past. Like, oh. uh, lethal weapon dark or way darker. Like, like you know, like Martin Riggs dark because he's got some stuff going on. You're uh, gonna kill me. I've only seen clips of uh, <laughs> Lethal Weapon. Oh, got it. Oh my God. Got it. Yeah, and I'm. You don't know this, but this is an ongoing thing that just came out recently. I just watch clips of stuff. I don't watch. I rarely watch. A, like, oh, got it. Yeah. Well, th- I mean, I'm. I'm guilty of that with some TV okay. and movies, but like just all in general, you yeah. ne- like, have you ever seen a full movie? <laughs> yeah, what I have, full, uh, is it, is it a list? <laughs> is it a small list? It's, it's not as big as you think. <laughs> that's amazing. I just want to be in, I just want to act. That's that, that. That's the whole thing. I love acting. I just want to act. It's hard for me to just sit down and suspend my disbelief anymore. I just want to act. I love, well, I also want to act and I love it. So I get it. Uh, are you, <laughs> I have so many questions. Please go ahead. No, I have a few questions. Like, uh, when you say suspect, is that because you know so much about the industry, so you can't unplug from the movies? Uh, so let's say I'm watching a performance, and okay. I'll go, oh, oh, I see what he did with that choice. Oh, that's really interesting. Oh, oh nice directorial it. thing. Ah, oh, man, I wish I. Okay, how would I play it? Okay, yeah. let me rewind it. Okay, let me play pretend I'm his character, and then I'll be like reacting off of what the oh, other person okay. said. Okay. Yeah, I'm. Oh, see, I just I'm the opposite. I love to just unplug, and mm. in fact, I think that speaks to the the better the project is, the more I can get out of my own head with stuff like that. Mm, okay, right? Like if I'm really drawn in, and that the, the writing and the directing, acting is amazing, right? All those things that dance is going on. Yeah. Then I don't pick it apart. Oh. And I can just suspend disbelief as yeah, an yeah. audience. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Uh, well, back to your question. What's the lethal weapon? Uh, oh, dark? well, yeah. he just has like a I kind of like that's like a like a, a cop with all this. Um, yeah, just like a dark past. And he kind of has like a crazy wild uh, cop character. Oh, okay. But Is there's Mel I mean, Gibson. There's, yeah. OK. Yeah. No, darker. Let's go darker. Yeah. Yeah. Let's darker. Go darker. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be fun. What about you? You want to play the good cop or the bad cop? I, I love doing dark characters. Like, mm. that's fun. Well, also because of, like, you know, all the stuff that I got to do over the years is, like, heightened fun comedy. Like, like all that stuff. I, I When I stream or watch, I really do tend to gravitate towards, like, dark, gritty dramas and things like that. Ooh, yeah. Nice. Or if it is comedy, uh, I mean, don't get me wrong. I love sketch comedy. I love all that stuff. But I, you know, it's tend to be darker comedy, like Barry or something that's, mm. you know, that has that like really um, dark elements to it. I, I love stuff like that. So that's that's the stuff that I'm excited as well to do as an actor and have have people see me do. Yeah, Barry's great. Love well, I've watched show. Barry. Yeah, I haven't seen the new season because I just oh, 
feel like it's a lot for me to invest in. Yeah, well, you yeah. should just watch clips. Yep. Yeah. Well, I, that's why. <laughs> that's why. I mean, how long would that take you? There's eight episodes, I think. Clips. How long are the clips? 15 to 20 minutes? Yeah. We could reverse engineer that and have you up in, up to speed on eight clips on Barry really fast. <laughs> If this is someone's first episode of listening to this, they're like, he's a psychopath. Cool. <laughs> um, what's, yeah. your fav- uh, what's, what's your favorite, like, uh, like dark, gritty show? Like, that, that's an example of, like, a cop, uh, a cop that you'd want to play, or, or one of those characters. Right oh. Now. Like, in terms of law enforcement? I guess it doesn't have to be law enforcement. Okay. It could just be, like, the darker, grittier side. I'll tell you this, and I, I'm definitely not in this age group, but something where it's the character arc of um, Walter White and Breaking Bad, oh, such a good and I know that's super classic, it's very m- mainstream now, but what's great is it's a very, it's this nice, normal guy with a hint of darkness, and that darkness blooms and takes over he looks into the abyss and he yeah. becomes the abyss it's like anti-hero through si- yeah. yeah six seasons like that's so it's such classic an, it's such an amazing show and i actually think i should go back and revisit that because just because you you like we i i streamed everything so quickly yeah i would love to that's probably there's not a lot of shows i would go back and rewatch, but that's definitely one of them i should absolutely yeah yeah, yeah. it's just always amazing watch ozark to me. ozark no that seems a little like i'm gonna get invested too much into it too much of a commitment yeah and it's like you know it's a good one yeah you'd it looks like, good you'd like that one yeah okay yeah i'm trying or, to think if there's anything you'd like it no you're probably right yeah yeah um I'm trying to think what else i wind down at night though i like watching stuff that just kind of lets me forget uh more mindless stuff just kind of yeah. let it wash over you yeah south yeah, park ghost hunting good. videos it's oh, good yeah speaking of ghost hunting we have october coming up they mentioned uh we got to bring some ghost hunters on here and now I always, I sometimes like to ask my guests, like, do you believe in like ghosts or anything? Or I like, do. Okay. I, I've never seen any, like, I haven't had any like supernatural, uh, supernatural experiences, mm-hmm. but I just think that there's too much out there that, you know, is unexplained and doesn't need to be explained. And so I just, I don't, yeah. What do you mean? Doesn't need to be explained. Yeah. It's just, I mean, well, that kind of stuff. I mean, I'm like, maybe if they're good ghosts, then that's fine. But like yeah. evil, like that type of stuff, I don't, I don't like to delve into yeah. too much of that. Like um, the shows where you watch, you kind of like put the, too much of that. Um, whether it's whether oh. it's ghosts or like uh, the, you know, um, the miniseries on like murder. Like I, I, I watch some of that stuff, but I do try to limit it. It's just, it's a lot of like, it's yeah. a lot of darkness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 But I do believe in ghosts. Okay. Have you had any, um, no? Nothing crazy. Have we had ghost hunters on the show before? Is this a first Ooh. experience ghost hunting? I want to get one on. I have questions. I'm not, I don't want, I can't, you know, defame, I don't want to get sued or anything, but I know, we know how things get edited in the world. You know, I, I just, I, it's hard for me to be like, you, you get ghosts every single episode, you know? Yeah. That's, but do they? I don't know that I've invested every, watching ghost hunters every they get ghosts every episode. Some, so some in that series, in that yeah. instance, I would pick it apart too. Like yeah. really, all thirteen episodes, you're getting a ghost. <laughs> yeah, it's not it's not very realistic. Now we did have something in this building, which I kind of talked about with the the crew last time, and this is like a you know Adobe radio station. It's not spooky, you know. We're on a main road, right? This whole thing. It's. I was pretty spooked out when I came. Yeah. No, I'm just <laughs> <laughs> so I'm like you know. I'm here one day by myself, and then all of a sudden, Spidey senses, Sixth Sense, I'm like, somebody else is in here. And Ooh. I start looking around, there's nobody, but I'm scared. Yeah. Okay. And you, and you, you, you see me. I'm, I'm ripped, you know? I'm, I'm in shape. I don't get scared, you know? I'm, right. I'm, I'm, I'm like, I'll, I'll, right. break, I'll break somebody's neck. <laughs> yeah. <you know? laughs> right? Like, what's getting through you, <laughs> right? Nothing. What's going to take you down? It Nothing. has to be supernatural. Right. It, it has to be otherworldly. I get uh, it. Otherworldly <laughs> or Ford F-150. One of those two is taking me down. Right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's just two. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, I was I was, I was. was. not really even scared. a smaller truck. It has to be a Ford one. <laughs> but specifically. Ford F-150. F-150. Like, F-150. Even, even like a smaller work truck is not going to do the job. Bro, give me a Toyota. <laughs> I'll flip that thing. <laughs> things off the rails already it is i love it <laughs> this is most episodes so wait so you yeah. so you felt a presence yeah man i felt something like i don't know how to explain it because 
I don't like to get granola. I, I, you know, I, I just felt like somebody or something is in this building with me and it's giving me bad vibes. Yeah. I think that's more of what I meant, like the bad energy, right? Mm -hmm. Like you can feel that sometimes or even just when people have that in general. But like, um, I, I don't have any like ghost experiences. Did yeah, you, yeah. did you, so you felt it and that was it? It that was, was like, it. that's kind of, that's where it stopped? Yeah, I left the building and I was totally fine. It scared you enough to leave the building or were you already leaving the building? I mean, I eventually had to leave, but it was like, okay, no need to hang out around here anymore. Right. Right. You made a quicker exit be, uh, because of this, the presence. Yeah. However, situational awareness, I totally believe in. And that's something I try to keep on like a daily basis. So sometimes, I don't know if you do this, but... I've done it driving and with people in like a place. I'm like, ah, I'm going to keep an eye on this guy in my perif. There's something about his energy that I don't, there's something off. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, boom, he does something crazy like in a car or he has road rage or like he's just like a not mentally well person and he, you know, he's like causing sure. a scene or whatever in a public place. Uh, uh, are you from, where are you originally from? Uh, raised most of my life in Oklahoma. Okay, got it. Yeah. So yeah, it's just like having situ uh, situational awareness in a city, right? Like I'm from Chicago and I've lived in big cities my whole life. So you just, I feel like you just need to have that walking around, right? Like, yeah. have ha you have your head in a swivel a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. How's not not walk around in fear. I don't think. No. I don't think that's the the goal. I think it's just being aware, right? No. Of your surroundings. Absolutely. I think that's yeah. important. You yeah. don't want to be unaware walking yeah, around. Yeah, you're like at a city ATM and you're just like la la la, right? No, no, <laughs> you no. know that that you 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 draw that attention to you. Yes. Right. Uh, one of our friends, uh, as they would say, you don't want to you want you don't want to look like a target. Remember. <laughs> We're, that's what one of our friends said to yeah, 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 I remember. They got into a big argument with him. Oh, yeah. 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 Or a tourist, you know, yeah. not to say anything. Like, if you're in another city, you can be a tourist. There's nothing yeah. wrong with that. Yeah. Uh, but, yeah, you just, you want to you know, be around and be aware yeah. of your surroundings. Peyton, are you still upset about that? I mean, he right, though. <laughs> <laughs> he right, though. <laughs> We had a friend who, uh, like, they, I, I, I literally think it was one of their first times meeting me. Uh, they saw that I'm a very scrawny looking dude mm. uh, and uh, he was talking about just like in LA if he were to ever rob somebody he would go after somebody like me because I look like a target <laughs> okay yeah, yeah yeah so and you took that personally a little bit yeah I mean that's a kind of as a, you do yeah as <laughs> yeah and that's you're like what yeah. do I do to you man <laughs> <laughs> yeah like, what do you say to that? I know. What Thank do you, you say? I was like, Thank okay. You. Now I'll be more okay. aware. I know. And again, like, <laughs> like, one of my first times meeting this guy. So it's like, what, what do I say to him? Yeah, like, I actually. He's a good friend now, but like. Okay. <laughs> so it's just, a, 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 it started a little weird. Yeah. 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 And I laughed so hard when I <laughs> As you should. Yeah. That's an insane, to say, That's, insane thing to say to somebody first time meeting You're him. coming in a little hot. Very hot. Very hot. I love it. Yeah, he does I that a lot, it. though, yeah. doesn't he? Yeah, that's yeah. just is that that's his move. That's his move, and he doesn't oh, it's even like a do shop it on value purpose. thing. He, I, I don't know. He doesn't even do it. Like he, he calls another friend of ours. Uh, he says he looks mentally ill. Oh, like he just. I don't even no, know no, if he no. does what, it on no, purpose. No, no, it's the Joker. Th is it? Is it? Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. But he started by saying like, "You got that look. You got that." No, that was you that said you got that mental illness look. Ah, uh, no, 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 no. Uh, we were uh, our our friend um, Isaiah. He gives off. Um, What's it called? Joker Arthur vibes. Fleck. Arthur Fleck. That's what Arthur Fleck vibes. You're like, man, this this podcast. <laughs> Will I get canceled for being here? No, um, no, no. We yeah, it, we just he says uh, <laughs> you like look at them. <laughs> you turn and the chair is just like spinning. <laughs> I've left. <laughs> you know what I mean? You know, you know what's great? Trying to explain all these past things. He's so fast. <laughs> he's so fast. First, <clears throat> I'm dying. Oh my god. Oh my gosh! You have like half a guest for half an episode. Oh, this was fun. Yeah, thanks, Josh. Yeah, I'm this not... was the best no, ten minutes of. <laughs> I love that our motto is "Come laugh, think, and recharge," and this is the shit. We yeah, sit man. Here and talk. <laughs> yeah, it's laugh. We're laughing. We're thinking. <laughs> we 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 got deep in the beginning. We got deep right away. And I've, guess what? We're recharging. It's it's the weekend. I am I'm I'm feeling recharged. There you go. I'm feeling. I'm not gonna leave. I'm just teasing. I'm I'm here. We're gonna. I'm gonna stick this out with you guys. Thank you. <laughs> but maybe your friend it, it sounds like he comes in pretty pretty hot very hot yeah and that's very not hot. that's not yeah. always yeah but you know it can be funny it can be very funny um i don't even know what we were talking about before i don't even remember either 
situational oh yeah awareness. situational awareness. situational awareness <laughs> which is almost what we don't have it's ironic exactly. <laughs> that we don't realize we're on a podcast and we don't have situational awareness <laughs> and oh my gosh full circle. full circle man full circle this is 200th and like 13 episodes oh for this wow yeah. congratulations thank guys. you that's amazing would you like one <laughs> <laughs> let me take that off your hands <laughs> you know feel well throw it these are great, by the way. We're not sponsored by them, but Fisherman's Friend Original Extra Strong. <clears throat> oh, I think I've had those. Are they they're like like more natural? Yeah, yeah. Super strong. They help out a lot. Are you, and you're feeling better? Totally better. Again, not contagious. Just uh, just at the tail end. I always get a lingering um, cough sometimes, yeah. like a. <clears throat> so, yeah, it is what it is. Like we talked about before, you know, there's other diseases other than COVID. Right, right now. Right. No, I appreciate you saying that. Right when I sat down, you're like, it's not COVID. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm kind of curious. Uh, we're going to watch some, uh, videos in a little bit. Oh, are we? And, um, I'll, I'm curious to see what our intern Zeke has, uh, compiled for us. Uh, usually we watch some pretty, um, it's not violent is not the right word. Uh, they're very specific to Wee Sam's world. Um, either what makes me laugh or what makes me like entertained. Okay. Know? Um, and we'll see if you dig it. If you don't, that's fine. You know, we're, we're testing this out at, at the same time. Um, but before we start, and I didn't want to delve too deep into this, but I just wanted to let you know, uh, because I know you've talked about it before and I get annoyed whenever I have to talk about stuff that I've already been in like a bunch of times. But, um, I used to watch you when I was younger on all that. And I just want to say that it's super cool for you to come on my show. Cause I thought you were really funny on the show and it's just really cool now that you're on my podcast and I appreciate that, man. Yeah. yeah. I just wanted to say I'm, that. No, Let's... I'm really glad to be here and you know, thanks for having me. And it, it's, it's, uh, it's cool to be like, it's, it's wild to be part of something that means that's meant so much to so many people and that we're still talking about it, you know, mm. this many years later. Yeah. Right. So, Anyway, that's all. I don't want to delve into it too much, but that that's all, man. I just think that's just such a cool, like, how life is just really amazing like that where, you know, you're experiencing life as <clears throat> when you're younger and you're like, okay, this is what the world is, right? Right. Let's say you're on, you're like, you're on a show and you're like, okay, this is what my world is right now. But then after years go by, it's like, oh, the, there's more to the world. The, the world changes. I change. And... Just uh, your perspective on anything. I know it's like I'm, in the, I'm obviously. I was in the middle. Of I know this, I need like, really pot. Special. No, I to keep going. <laughs> keep going. I'm in this like I'm just. I'm really new to podcast, guys. Obviously, <laughs> clear. I just keep smacking the mic. No, you're what, really an, what an amateur. Right? What yeah. an amateur. Go ahead. No, no, you've actually done more podcasts than this, right? Uh, a couple. Yeah, not a. Ton. You're a natural, dude. Thank you. Brother. Yeah, yeah. Thank Seriously, you. go ahead, please. You no, were no. saying about um, how uh, uh, what was it? Uh, how you're. In your oh, life. Yeah. It's hard to it's hard to like project out like that and figure out what Yeah, well yeah, I guess I guess what I'm trying to express is like it's just it's just really amazing and cool of because I love acting and this is my passion and you know, watching all that when I was younger, if somebody was going, Oh, that actor, he's gonna be on your podcast right. and you don't even know what a podcast is, but he'll be on your show right. years down the line. It's like what? Like how, how, what things need to happen for that to happen that, and is that, just and I, lo I love that crazy, stuff, man. Right? That's so cool. It's so cool. Right. You can't, uh, and I remember being on, on the show like that, like you're 14, 15 and you really just can't, that's what I was said about my comment about how much it means to people. Like you're just a, you're a teenager and you're trying to like figure it out. You can't have the foresight to be like this many years later. I'm going to be on a podcast talking about how much the show meant to people and that people were fans of it. It's like, it's impossible to do that, right? Yeah. To project out like that and, and, and going to look back and go, Oh wow, that was amazing. So I'm happy to, I'm happy to be here. Yeah. It's, it's, it's one of the most, uh, uh incredible blessings of life to experience because when you realize what needs to happen for everything to happen the good, chain of events it's a miracle it shouldn't happen right statistically right <laughs> right it shouldn't happen yeah me and you shouldn't be in this room right now statistically totally <laughs> it's 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 mind-boggling it makes there's a word for it. it's the awe of life it's the it's the it's the japanese word for like the magnificent the magnificence 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 of life and yeah. how broad it is 
anyway, sometimes no, I just that's get, cool, man. I, that you have that perspective, that you are in all of that, mm. man. You know, because not a lot of people have that awareness, and 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 so yeah, the fact that you're here and you're in LA, like working and doing what you love, and now we're connecting. That's that's a cool thing. Yeah, yeah, and I don't take that lightly. I don't think a lot of us from the the show. We I feel like we understand the importance of that, and I'm really grateful yeah. uh, for what that experience was and how it got me to where I am now. That's yeah. awesome. And congrats to uh, Keenan, right? Oh, his yes. His star of fame. Yes. Yeah, I feel like this is going to air after that so we can talk about it now. Um, but yeah, I, I'm uh, on the 11th of August. Um, I get to be one of the three speakers that present Keenan with his like walk of fame star. Wow. And it's it's a pretty full circle moment. I just I love that guy, and uh, he deserves it. Nobody deserves it more. And so I'm really honored to be part of like that process, and I get to go up and make a speech, and, and you know it's it's going to be pretty cool. Well, that's wonderful. Congratulations. Yeah. Thank you. You guys must be f friends then. I guess close friends. Or? Oh yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. One of my best friends. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, I've maintained great relationships with so many people, but like Keenan and I have always been really really close. And uh, yeah, I mean. You know, it's it's weird because we're in our 40s. It's almost like giving someone like a lifetime achievement award, and he has so much more to achieve. But like a walk of a, a star on the walk of fame yeah. is a huge, huge, huge thing. And so, you know, when they asked me to do it, I was like, I jumped at the chance. Oh, that's yeah. wonderful. Yeah, I'm really happy for my buddy. Speaking of, uh, I I think, have you ever seen? This is one of my favorite SNL sketches of all time, and it's so random and it's hard to explain to people. Some of the most random like uh, ones that. Like not a lot of people have seen are the best are the best SNL moments. Uh, the uh, Tom Hanks as the pumpkin guy. I don't know if I've seen David that. Pumpkins. David Pumpkins. David Pump. Are You've you guys going to school me David on David pumpkins? pumpkins right now? Oh my goodness. Um, I have so much to learn on this podcast. <laughs> uh, it's mm -hmm. so random. What season is this? Who is it? Pretty recent. This is a uh, 2016. I'm excited. So this was huge. A while Tom Hanks. It's Tom Hanks. Yes, I'm huge. Tom Hanks. Man. I just yeah. double. <laughs> Who doesn't like Tom Hanks? <laughs> huh? Who doesn't? Um, no. no. Yeah. Oh, Fuck with no, that no, bit no, where uh, oh, yes, where yes, uh, yes. Sudeikis comes in and does like the like <laughs> the basically man. does the gotta, Running Man, yeah. which is like the one of the funniest parts of that bit, other than Keenan doing his thing. Yeah. Uh, oh, I have to check that. And out. it's like a side. It's like a side bit. You know, it's it's so funny. Is that the whole thing? They just dance behind him and he makes a couple statements and then they close the door and that's it? Yeah, and yeah. then they're, they're like, uh, yeah, we actually have a few questions. <laughs> what? Who is? And then he keeps coming back just doing the same thing and they're like, what is this? I love, like I love dumb shit like that. Oh, yeah, yeah. We, we have, we're allowed. Oh, yeah, yeah, we're allowed to curse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Great. Um, <laughs> Great. Oh, man. Yeah, that was one of my favorite bits. Um, you know, since we have it up already... Uh, I'm I haven't seen these videos yet. Okay, all these videos, so we'll see. All right. So um, this isn't a video compilation. Remember, this yep. is the. Oh. So this one guy, I found this guy on TikTok. Okay. He just came across my feed, and he has so many videos like like that I want to show you, because okay, okay, we'll just start it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> he only yeah. he um, only has like a few <clears throat> hundred views on each one. He posts multiple times a day. There's a running theme. Um. <laughs> okay, wait. I can already tell this is gonna be great. What, it's, is that, what does that bio say? Fifty-one years old and starting over. Okay, great, great. I'm actually for that. I like when people want a new start. So yeah, I believe in that. We can yeah. just dive in. Um, we'll just pick one. Just want you to know, I will never stop loving you, and I will always think about you twenty-four-seven. This is sad. This, this is so sad. Dude, this guy's, this, this guy's going, see, this guy's going through something. Dude, this is so, this is so sad. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait. See, they're all like that? Yeah. Just no. Wait. Yeah, wait. No. We'll just pick another one. 51 years is guy starting over. You know, it's hard to believe that your wife of 11 years. Oh, my God. She's a coal over me. And that's what she did. She chose this little rotten piece of shit troll over me. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we're, uh, we're Fuck up our house. Okay. <laughs> See, oh, I'm sorry. 
Every single video is we like We started that. with Zeke's probationary period. Yeah. Right? Like, oh, I, there's going to be a review after this. <laughs> so we have to do a hard review. <laughs> He's just boasting about his, you know, his wife leaving him. Oh, this is no. this is interesting oh, to me. Again. This is this it's is I know it's really uh, sad though. Social media is such an interesting place mm -hmm. to where people uh, I choose to put this out there for what reason? Mm -hmm. You know? Like I feel there's a gap in the age groups, like in the generational groups with what social media is actually used, like why they're using it for. Well, Would you agree? Yeah. I mean, uh, wait, so I'm 40. Is it Generation X? I think I'm, which one am I? I got to, I got to Google it. I don't even know which one I am. Yeah, that's Gen X. That's Gen, yeah, yeah Gen X. So that I saw something interesting that Gen X is the only not maybe not the only generation where we started without social media and now we're in it right um is that is that we're accurate millennials, millennials and we're gen the, x yeah, the there's first. like a there's a couple of generations mm -hmm. that were born without it and now they have it but now every generation has been essentially is now mm -hmm. born with it mm. they just present right and right. The, and the right so that that's that's fascinating how like different generations relate to social media right it's so powerful too like it's it's not even um it's part of it's part of their so much part of their life that they can't imagine not having it right well like you see like babies on ipads right right and they're just flying and that's just a weird thing because they've been born into a time when they've they've never not had it it's just always been a part of their life so yeah, I think we can all agree that TikTok is maybe not the platform that this guy should have been right exploring yes. what he's going through because TikTok t tends to not be stuff. I'm well, not like I don't I don't do a lot on TikTok. TikTok's right? uh, TikTok's a whole range. Yeah, there's of right. Things. There's a right. lot. Yeah, but you're right. This is this he should be like I would love for him to get on our sponsor Better Help. I yeah. mean, this guy seems like he needs someone yeah. to talk to. Seems like yeah. he's going through it, which is always I mean. It's so shocking, you know, because I wonder what I really am curious. And maybe this is like the actor part of me, but what's going through his mind? You know, like, oh, I got to I'm going to post another one today. Like, what's he receiving in return? Does that make sense? What I'm saying? Yeah. I don't know. I'm not a psychiatrist or anything like no. that. You know, there's a lot of people. There's some people who I and also like generations like that guy. I don't know how old he is, but. I mean, there was. Oh, I'm sorry, 51. Yeah. 51 and starting Man. over. <laughs> I should leave now. That's terrible. He's 51 and starting over. He there there wasn't an emphasis on mental health. No. Like yeah. right in no. my generation or his generation. So like yeah, that's that's it's a little brutal to watch him go through that. Okay, mental health super yeah. important. It's uh, as we know, being an actor uh, is super tough. Uh, a professional actor is is extremely difficult. The amount of rejection, uh, navigating the business, you you keep evolving as a person, as an artist. Um, the 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 common themes of obstacles most artists face, um, uh, doubt, and one of the biggest things. Mm -hmm. How are you? How do you maintain a, like a mental your mental health? I would just say that recently, in in, in the last X amount of years, I've really been diving into that. Mm. Like I, I do was never a part of my life and it need, it needed to become right. So yeah. like journaling, meditating, therapy, all the things in the last X amount of years, I've been doing a lot of, a lot of work on that stuff. Oh, great. Yeah. It's important, but yeah, 51 and, and starting over, he probably there's, there was just no, that wasn't something that was maybe taught to him that he no. needed to be aware of that. No. You know? Are you, are you finding positive results? Hopefully through it. This is the happiest and healthiest I've ever oh, been. Good. That's really good. Yeah. Yeah, I've been doing a lot of work on it. It's re it's really important. I mean, as an actor or just as a human being. <laughs> yeah. In general. Yeah. 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 Do you do? Uh, have you been? Do you do stuff like that? Or Not, just been focusing on it? Or I, I I have never done therapy, but I do. What works for me, I found, is a meditation and uh, regular um, exercise. Like, like, oh yeah, staying some extreme exercise, yoga, tremendously. Sure. I mean, all that stuff, the mental, physical, and spiritual stuff, it all it all bleeds together, right? It's Absolutely. All, it's all important. I've been reading a lot on, um, I think certain books have helped me through certain parts, uh, like um, Extreme Ownership. Oh, I haven't read that one. Um, uh, yeah, it's uh, Jocko Willink. 
Um, yeah, there's just some certain books, uh, Outliers, for instance. Um, that's a good one, Malcolm Gladwell, The Road Less Traveled. Some of the classic one, The Four Agreements. Ooh, I love that one. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I mean, they're they're classics in the terms of like self help, but I I they, they they help me tremendously, you know. Yeah, they're classics for a reason, right? Yeah. It's like the foundational stuff of those of those modalities. Yeah, and figuring out why I want to do what I want to do, like why I, like really solidifying that I think is important because I feel like I mean do, do you feel like there's a good number of actors who come out to LA or New York and maybe they don't want to do acting like maybe they just like they were into they, they like it but is, they, they haven't really thought about is this really what I want to do for the rest of my life um, I mean are, are you saying like uh, I guess I'm trying to understand the question so mm. you feel like there's a lot of people that come here because they feel like they should LA New York that's kind of what you're supposed to do when you come here I do uh, think there's people who are yeah. like who are like kind of flipping about it. We're like, I'm just gonna try it, or you know, I'm gonna try this, and I, and of course you should be able to try different things and find out what you what you're good at and what you like. Yeah. But as you know, you need. I mean, acting can be an incredibly taxing journey, right? Yeah. And so I do think you need to love it and be focused and committed and work. You know. So I don't think everyone uh, has that level of commitment, mm, right? Yeah. And you need it. Absolutely. Right. Do you think you develop? You can develop it. I think so. Mm. Yeah, but you. I mean, you gotta. I mean, you really gotta want it. Well, it's also like depends on how you are processing that rejection, right? Like a lot of times, people come out here and they don't get that instant success, or it takes longer, or whatever, and that it beats them down, and they end up leaving, right? A lot of a lot of times, people come out here and they leave. That's true. Um, so whether you stay and like you know what uh, what new processes you take on you know that i mean that's an individual pursuit right but i just yeah. i can only speak to my <laughs> myself right yeah but course, i think but there's a i don't think there's i think there's a lot of people that either maybe aren't doing it for the right reasons or aren't a thousand percent committed which mm. i think you need i think you need to have alignment on both yeah i think also having an a, a, a life outside of just acting like trying new things that well this. that speaks to mental like that's uh about getting happy regardless of the career and your success like that's super important i completely yeah. agree with that i just thought things it feeds in like as an actor you have to kind of like experience life to right well yeah and if every job or every audition or everything like that is precious then you're gonna you're setting yourself up for a lot of heartache yeah a yeah. lot of heartache yeah 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 a lot yeah oh my gosh yeah, Zeke, you got anything else for us, bud? <laughs> I don't want to get too sorry. <laughs> I'll say that that brought down the mood. Yeah. Oh, no, man. I like talking about this stuff. No, man. I do yeah, too. Yeah, but yeah. that was that was that was hard. That was hard to. Watch. You know, it's it 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 is it is. Um, uh, I want to bring up you, my, you, one of my favorite. You want to laugh videos. because you're it's it's unco it's uncomfortable. Oh, that's my. Yeah, oh, that's, I'm not laughing at him. No, I hope I that's know. not Me clear. Me too. I was just like that. It, it was it was jarring. It was. Um, but what what are we? Oh, I was like, there was this cute video. <laughs> yeah, let's let's switch to like peppy Little kids, Zeke. Pepper. Let's no, let's no, pivot. No, 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 let's pivot. No, 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 Thank no, you, Alex. We need to, we, we need an energy pick me up here. Wow. Okay. Um. Wait, do you have kids? No, no, not, okay, yet. not yet. Not yet. Oh, Definitely want them on that road. But oh, I've just awesome. been I'm a little bit of a late bloomer in that one. Yeah, that's yeah. okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Never been married. Uh, don't have kids yet. Mm. Um, this is a random TikTok I found yesterday. That I thought it looks like something we Sam would have done as a kid. Oh, Jake! Jake! Oh my gosh! What the hell, Jake? <laughs> what the hell, Jake? <laughs> <laughs> Jake, Jake, Jake is gone. Is gone. He's gone. <laughs> We see him. Is this accurate? Is this something you would have done yeah. as a kid? I, I know it's hard to believe, but no, I, I was. Uh, I were would you not. A, were you a good? You were a good kid. You were I a, think a, I, uh, like a not yeah. a goody two shoes kind of kid, but like. A, but you were. You wouldn't jump out the back of a school bus. No, I would jump out of the back. That's you. Yeah. yeah, I was a little bit of a. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, I've got another one. This one's pretty good too. This motherfucker <laughs> got in my safe cigarette disposal container and ate all the fuck or ate all but he ate a bunch of fucking joints he is so fucking high <laughs> i have to take him to the goddamn vet so he doesn't die big idiot oh he's zooted <laughs> 
He's having the best time. Big Bro. idiot. Was that a chihuahua? It was like a chihuahua, a chihuahua. mix. It. I also feel like that's the dog to get high. to have that yeah. video, right? <laughs> exactly. Like it's like very dog appropriate. Yeah. For that video. Do you have pets? Love. Yes, I do. We we have uh we have one dog. Oh, nice. Yeah. That's cute. It's an Australian Friend. Shepherd. Mix. Oh. Mix. He's got smart. the one brown uh one brown eye, one blue eye. They're super smart. So smart. A lot of energy. Tons of energy. Um, fun mm-hmm. doing self tapes with a with an. Oh, you wanna, a oh sorry. Oh, oh so sorry. I, sorry. I, sorry. You want to try to try audition with an Aus- Australian Shepherd? That's a whole nother. We should teach a class on taping with dogs. Oh my god. While you're trying to get your your tapes in. And how do you like go, how do you how do you keep? He's calm in, now. Okay. Like, but like as a puppy, oh, it's it was brutal. It was brutal. My yeah, buddy, he's a good boy. He's uh, he's really well trained. I like. Oh good. I was like a nerd, and I watched all like the videos, like training videos online, yeah. and got really into it. And so he's he's really well behaved now. That's what you yeah. should do. I yeah, feel like, right? I know, but like, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's I was, awesome. I was very like a uh, nerdy trainer guy, like just with the clicker and the. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh yeah, my I know. God. I know. I just. Oh, I know. I would have loved I know. To see you I know. Doing that. I know. I don't use it anymore. Now it's just treats. But you know, it it's, <laughs> it works. Yeah. 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 Should have had an oops button. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Okay. okay. I know this girl. I've seen, uh, seen, I've seen her before? video. Yeah, very cute. Have you seen her? I don't think I have. be a shark. Now, my whole house is great. I can do anything good. I like my school. I like anything. I like my dad. I like my cousins. I like my aunts. Yeah. I like, I like my the, I love that she's going I side like to side mom. with it. I like Wow. I like my stuff. I like my rooms. I like my whole house. My whole house is great. I can do anything good. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> that kid's going places. Good. Super positive. <laughs> I love it. I don't think you find very many adults can say that many things that they like about themselves and <laughs> their, their life. They, she true. was just like, me, me, just hit it. Yeah, yeah, it was awesome. That's actually. We, I feel like we pivoted. Now we've like we started with a, a pretty you know tough video, and now we're in the we're past like, Drew. Hop, yeah, we. This is the this is every episode, by the way. Every episode. This is this is the journey we take. <laughs> the the we Sam roller coaster. Oh, it's keep your hands in is. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, nope. uh, um, strap in. It's gonna be a, it's gonna be a bumpy. <laughs> I but no, I think. I think though that's, I know it's a, we kind of glazed over it, but the idea of being appreciative of what you have, we lose that as we get older. Yeah. Like the little, yeah. the really the little things where we're, and, and I think that's the, the beginning to getting rid of uh, depression and, and sadness and motivating yourself and realizing, whoa, whoa, whoa. I actually got a lot of good things going for me. Yeah, you know, and I'm gonna want to be too cheesy or spiritual, or, right? Or, or, yeah. or, but is the goal to get, essentially get back and remember, like to go Ooh. backwards and just remember when you had all that stuff that was just innate, right? That gratitude, that joy, that love, all that stuff. It's just the journey is to journey back and just remember what you yeah. forgot. Yeah, and but but you know she's present. Yeah, she's yeah. she's present. That's what I'm saying. Moment. Like if 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 someone doesn't mess her up right <laughs> like if someone doesn't mess her up that kid's she's super positive and if you just allow her to kind of go on her trajectory she's probably going to do some pretty cool stuff yeah you know i think it's important for artists to um regulate their social media time and what they what they want out of social media to be very specific with it and um, i agree otherwise they're going to start getting validation from it and the or they want to get validation for their happiness from it and it'll really screw them up yeah do you take uh, have you ever taken a break from social media yeah no no <laughs> try that I, I it's good it. no no and i and that is not in the cards <laughs> you just you're like, I wish. no hard no <laughs> sorry before we move on that is our time on adobe radio oh great hey thanks for tuning in live we, this show continues on make sure you tune in tomorrow uh, morning. It's available on all platforms, YouTube, Spotify, Apple Podcasts. We appreciate you guys for tuning in live. And uh, yeah, we'll see you next week. Make sure you follow Josh Server at Josh Server. Uh, Josh underscore Server. Under, yeah. Underscore Server. There's all right, guys. Another account. I don't know what you do. <laughs>
I had to grab the uh, delete score. Em. Yeah, <laughs> delete them. <laughs> Launch a social media attack. How horrible would that be? <laughs> so, guys. Um, no. So, um, what were we talking about? Um, Re- uh, regulating social media and oh, yeah. then taking breaks. Have you ever taken a break? <sighs> I wish. I wish I didn't. I wish I was Tom Hardy and didn't have a social media. Oh yeah, he. I guess he doesn't. Tom Hardy doesn't. No. I feel like Tom Hardy might get it. He just gets it. Yeah, he gets it, and he's also Tom Hardy. So yes, exactly, and he like he can he can afford not to have one, yeah. right? Oh, talk about films I've seen in their entirety. Okay, Tom Hardy is in one of my all-time favorite films. Period. Oh, we're and and we've now gone full circle. Callback. Oh, what is it? Because uh, Tom your favorite Hardy. movie of all time. Yeah, you have to you look up on your phone. Its yes. Name? Yeah, judge me, people. <laughs> Judge me. This is my favorite movie of all time. Hold. Lock. <laughs> Lock. Have I s- You know what? I haven't seen Lock. And I'm a hu- and I'm and I and I actually really love Tom Hardy. Have you do you watch Peaky Blinders or or watch clips of yeah, Peaky Blinders? I do watch clips of Peaky Blinders. Um, I know I know I now watch I would, like I have to be like I have to censor that because you're like uh <laughs> Do you watch Peaky Blinders? And I know now that you don't watch Peaky Blinders in its entirety. So now I've shifted to do you watch clips? I don't know if you've noticed I've made that yeah, yeah. adjustment. Yeah. Uh, I respect do that. You watch, thank you. They, of course. Of course. Do you watch clips of Peaky Blinders and uh, of the scenes that Tom Hardy is in? Yeah. Almost impossible to understand what he's saying. Yeah. But great acting. He's like, so it's intense. It's almost like. It's <laughs> he's so intense. You see the part where he punched that dude in the face yeah. and killed him? Yeah. Yeah. Just for asking a question. And you're like, what is going on? Especially for That's me that I don't know. That's also a dark, gritty show that I just love. Me and oh my, my girlfriend God. love that show. And, uh, and so, uh, yeah, she's you know, way oh into gosh. Peaky Blinders. Yeah. I, dude. Geez. She wants to name We're going to get another dog. Wants to, she wants to name it Thomas Shelby. So oh, that's yeah. kind of the, I like that. You know. He has yeah. the eczema in that show, right? Tom Hardy's character. The eczema. Yeah. Or something yeah. like that? Yes. Okay. Or is it... Psoriasis? Yeah, something like that. I don't yeah. think if that's explained on what he has, but it might be yeah. psoriasis or eczema. Yeah. Yeah. I, so Locke is good. Uh, okay. You've seen it, it You've seen it in its entirety. I'm not going to give anything away. No, just tell me that you've seen it in its entirety. We'll start with that. I have seen it <laughs> in its entirety. I rented it off Amazon. Oh, cool. So he got how some mu- check. How, mu- how much? Uh, the rent? To rent it? Yeah. How much? on? Like, or like a few bucks? I don't so know. worth it worth it. I don't look at, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know, maybe. Well, I'm just saying yeah. you don't watch a lot of movies, so I just wondered if you're like, if you're like, <coughs> yes, you just like, you have the remote, you're gonna, you're gonna make this purchase. Yeah, I made, okay. I made the purchase. You made the commitment. Um, what I love about it, when I think of why a movie is in my favorite top 10 or top five, whatever, I always think about what's the purpose of this film being made? What is it? Why is it? Is it for entertainment? Is it to send a message? Is it to to share a unique real life story from someone? And what I love about it, it's a story about doing the right thing, no matter what the consequences or where you came from. Oh, okay. And it's the hardest fucking decision to make. And it all takes place with him driving in the car the entire film. I've seen... I've seen clips or premieres, or no, I'm sorry, uh, um, geez, my brain just stopped, uh, uh, previews of that movie, and I have, it did look interesting, but it's just not something I've, I've in, uh, watched in its entirety. He, Worth it. Who else is in it? Uh, I don't know. Okay, got because it. Because the camera's on him, I think, the whole time. And the way they shot it was within, like, I think it was something ridiculous, only within a week. And because... Well, because it's like a single location kind of thing, almost? He's just driving. And so, you know how he memorized the lines? They had a... They actually had a teleprompter because they didn't have enough time to memorize, like, the lines and everything. Because he's basically in the whole thing. It would just be a huge undertaking. It's an hour and a half. Right. Of him just... Talking. Monologuing? Yes. What? Bro. I'm, I'm definitely intrigued. I want to check it out. I know it sounds like one of those things like, this is going to be boring. This should be a play. No. You are... Your heart is torn apart. And you end up cursing him and loving him back and forth throughout the whole thing. Well, since we are doing callbacks, the fact that you went so hard at that one screening and wrote all those notes, the fact that you feel this good about this movie, that is a bold, bold review from We Sam. So now I'm going to have to check it out. There you go. I'll tell you my number one favorite film after you tell me yours. Oh. 
That's tough. I, don't, I know. You don't do like, that? Okay, well, okay, okay, no, right. when, when in our genre, right? Like, that's hard. You can pick favorites, but, man, there's so many. Like, okay. I'd have to do, like, a top 10, top 20 list for sure. you. Okay, okay. I don't know. A favorite because of that's, I don't know. Red Belt. Red Belt? That's your favorite? Yeah. Have I not seen Red Belt? Now it's I feel like. It's written and directed by David Mamet. I love David Mamet. He's kind of controversial with his political views, but I, I actually don't know. Okay. Okay, I'm sorry. I don't. I actually can't speak to his political views because yeah, I yeah. don't know them. Yeah, yeah. I, just, I, did, I, I didn't know them. about them either until I said it a while ago, okay. and then I'm like, okay, I'll take a step back, everybody. Got it. Not yeah. embracing those because I have no idea those. what we're talking about. But but uh, but I do love him as a playwright and as a writer. You ready to be blown away? Chewy, uh, I forget his. He's a he's a black actor. He was in Twelve Years a Slave. He was the main actor. His name is Chewy. If Illa. He has a really difficult last name. Right. But you I know do him. know who you're talking about, and I also don't want to try to pronounce it. He's the main guy in it, and Tim Allen is in it, and he does an amazing job. Really? Tim Allen. Like, I know it's like going from Chewy to him to Tim Allen. You're like, what? Right. No, Tim Allen. Just delivers the goods in this David Mamet movie? You're like, amazing. Well, well, Tim, just do stuff like this. What are you doing, like, multicams? Like, you're a phenomenal actor. Like, well, Tim, Tim Allen's been living in that multicam space for, you know. He's not bad at it, but like no, you see how no, good he, he is. He's great oh. in that. He's also great in the multicam world. But oh yeah. my god! You wow! See, you see him in this film, and you're like, dude, you got some chops. That's incredible. I want to check it out now. Yeah. It's called Red Belt. Yeah, and again, the reason why I love it, its main theme is there is no situation you can't get out of, and there's a part in the movie, and I'm not gonna. That's all I'm gonna. I'm not gonna yeah, give no anything spoilers, away. Yeah, no spoilers, Everyone dies. No, I'm kidding. Um, <laughs> Act one, everyone <laughs> dies. I literally was watching it going, where the fuck do we go from here? Oh, yeah. Oh, is that good? Where the, f like, where? I'm, I, I'm heartbroken. What, like, how do we get, how do we get out of this? That's all I'm going to say. That's all I'm going to say. And if you watch it, please message me. I Let's will. Let's grab some coffee and talk yeah. about it. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. Because it's, so it's so fucking motivating, that film, man. It makes you just want to be like, no, I'm going to stand true to my principles no matter what the scenario is. I, I love any movie like that that just leaves you that charged up, right? So, yeah, I will, ch I will watch it with that, with that uh, review attached, and, and I'll message you. Dude. Yeah. I, I, I just think David Mamet's a brilliant writer and just like the way his like the staccato of like if you're an actor and you get to say the words it's weird how like the way he writes can kind of open open up an instrument does that make sense am I saying that properly yeah. like when you have when they're when the writing is so good you don't have to do anything you just show up and say the words right right and there's only a few I mean, not, not, there's a lot of amazing writers in this town, but that he's, you know, David Mamet is one of those people that elevates the, you know, elevates the actor with the words. Right. That rhythm. Yeah. The, it's like a, a staccato, right? It's, it's, it almost feels it, like you're just doing Christopher Walken the whole time, but you're just, you push through it and it, and it, it just, it elevate it elevates yeah. the performance, you know? It's either a huge monologue or like one word back right. and forth for like five pages. Right. And you're Where like, you're like, uh, uh, yes, no, Right. 12 you know and you're like what and and but for some reason in a scene it works and you wouldn't think as a writer if you sat down and wrote just individual words like that it wouldn't make sense but the way he strings it together is brilliant yeah yeah oh cool yeah that was my favorite. yeah see i watch stuff <laughs> come on josh like i believe you now now i see that you watch stuff you know <laughs> this guy <laughs> oh man um, I'm trying to think uh, if there's anything else that we haven't hit on I had such a great time with you man this has been me too man this is the first time we've ever met just for anybody wondering I so. know so random and we are neighbors and yeah. we just kind of it, this happened uh, randomly yes right like you know one of my really good friends and so yeah I was, yeah. was I was happy to come in yeah Caitlin was like she banged on my door and she was like, I need a, I need a manager, an agent. I'm like, what? No, I'm kidding. No, she's super nice. Um, no, I mean, she's really, really nice person. She's the best. Yeah. She's, she's super a, She's sweet. an angel of a person. She yeah. really is. Um, but then um, we were just talking about acting stuff and your name came up. I'm like, oh, wow. And she's like, he's, he's in our neighborhood. I was like, oh, okay, great. I'll yeah, watch out. It was very organic yeah. how, it, how it happened. Yeah. And they love, uh, it's so funny because uh, she's, 
like the best friend of my mm-hmm. girlfriend. That's actually how I met my girlfriend through oh. Caitlin. It's like a whole thing. Um, but the way that they explained it to me is they were really good for, uh, they're really fans of good girls. Yes. And so they're like, we love his character. And so I, I, you know, admit, I actually admittedly, I watched an episode of good girls last night cause it wasn't a oh. show I, for, I was familiar with. So I just wanted to check it out. It, you were great brother. It was you were blown away, blown away. <laughs> Yeah. Blown away. What was your favorite part? Like, what? what about uh, so I only was. So no, no. What was like? Was I was I just trying screen? to do some research, man. Yeah, no, just show I, up. I, I, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> He's like, words of affirmation are my love language. Bring it. We started off. Bring it. We started off complimenting each other, and now. We're and end. now, <laughs> well, I feel you know that I feel like we should end that way, right? You know we should. Yeah. <laughs> But what if what if people stopped listening to the episode and then came back and they missed the entire middle part and they just think we're still complimenting each other? The comment section is going to be the weirdest comment section on YouTube ever. They're going to be like, is this the same episode you guys are talking about this? Like if for some reason it's like, oh, someone's like, I'm over this. This is gross. Right. And they come back and they just missed the middle part. And we just, we, we end and we're like, you were really great in that one thing. And you were like, you were really great in that one thing. <laughs> Ew. Oh um, but I, but I, I actually want to start, yeah. I want to start no. watching the show yeah. now because I wasn't familiar. There's just so oh, many yeah. things to stream, right? And so I, yeah, I, I really, I, I just watched the episode where uh, uh, your girlfriend's, they, you think she's breaking up with you and she's really, I don't know, I don't suppose spoilers for the. Oh yeah. It's like episode. It was like. Yeah. I forget which one that was. No, that's okay. Yeah. You were great. Thank you. I appreciate it. The show is great. You were great. They uh, they had some great writers. Yes. One of my favorite things now that is immortalized on television that I've gotten to do is two things from that TV series, and i got to thank everybody involved for mm-hmm. letting me do it. Um, I got to do the splits, and I got to power walk <laughs> in an episode. <laughs> And you don't understand. Hold no, on, Josh, I have a couple of questions. Uh, so well, first of all, wait. Go ahead, go when ahead. you say you got get to do the splits, mm-hmm. you, I just asked. You can do the splits. That's something you could do. So is that on your list of skills on your IMDb? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Josh. Ripped. Only be taken out by an F one fifty. Splits. Yeah, I could do. Can the front do. Split. You, you can do front splits. Yeah, that's impressive by itself. Yeah. Did, did they know that going in? No. That, so no. that, or, wait, so that organically came up on set and they're like, do the splits in the show? How did, you got to tell me that okay. story and then we'll, so, you know. So my, the, the three main uh, ladies are staking out my apartment because they need to get something from it, which I'm not going to give too much away. They see me exiting, about to start my morning run. That's the power walk. But they said the direction was this is this is how we want works. you to warm up first, do some stretches, and then start on your 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 run. And I was like, well, that's cool, but I'm gonna, you know, add you just, on to you it. You went for it. And so I get out of the house, and then I'm like, <clears throat> jump right into the splits, right? And then I get up, do the other side, <laughs> and then I'm like. And then I start power walking. And so that's on the screen. <laughs> and they forever. kept it. And they yeah, kept it. See, those are, that's awesome. When you can like bring, that, that is really cool. When you bring yeah. stuff like that. And then, you know, the people at Video Village, they're like, we didn't know we needed that. And now yeah. it's in the show. Isn't that the best? That's so much fun. And honestly, a lot of times. So technically the, the power walk and the splits were in one, they were both in the one scene. Yeah. Which, I mean, that just makes me happy as a person. Like, yeah. I can, I, if I'm on my deathbed, I'm like, oh yeah, I got to do that. That's good. That's yeah. good. Yeah. That's, I love that's it. for me. That's for me. <laughs> yeah, that one's for me. You yeah, it's a little, a little tip of the cap to the audience. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Kind of. You know Saying what? this is a, this is this is what we say. This is a stamp. A we say I'm stamp on the scene. <laughs> it makes me. So I mean, it's happy. also fun that the show was, uh, like, the type of show where you could do something yeah. like that, and then understanding, you know, what style of the show that you're in, or what style of film it is and seeing what you can kind of how you can push the limits yeah that's cool too and just kind of understanding that i love that yeah i love pushing the limits yeah i can i can tell yeah i want to push the limits with you josh <laughs> <laughs> you feel like you feel like you push the limits i'm gonna go <laughs> what's it called wait, red belt yeah. i'm gonna go watch red belt right now and then i'll message you and we'll go push the limits dude <laughs> Once 
I actually have some other things on my calendar for Saturday, but soon. No, we will push the limit soon, we say. All right, well, I hope so. Because if we, if I don't get a message from you saying you've watched, watch a month later, I'm like, so I guess you didn't have time to watch Red Belt this entire month, huh, Josh? Is that is that how you message on your phone too, or is that your computer? Your, I bring out a okay. laptop, a oh, Bluetooth God, laptop like, or a keyboard, excuse me, and I just type out yeah, everything. Yeah, yeah. strongly worded email. Oh yeah, got it. Yeah, got it. Yeah, this has been such a great episode. Me too, brother. Thank, thank you, you for, for ha- no, thank you for having me. This was a lot of fun. Yeah, man. Yeah, I appreciate you. Um, congrats to your friend Keenan as well for the yeah. Hollywood Walk of Fame. Yeah. And uh, again, if people want to keep up with you at Josh underscore Server, correct. Dude. Instagram, Twitter, all those things. Absolute pleasure. Yeah. You're a great guy, and I and I hope we get to continue. To hang I out. appreciate that too. Yeah, yeah, man. I would like that. I would yeah. like that. I have homework. I have homework from the <laughs> podcast. Yeah. I'll check in. Yeah. Alex, when she emailed me, she didn't say there would be homework, but she should have. Yeah. Take people, you know, too far, too quickly. How was it? It was great. And then they gave me a list of things to watch. I'm supposed to check back. (laughs) Your manager's like, what? (laughs) Guy's crazy. The guy is crazy. All right, Peyton, play us out. We don't have music? Are you good? No, I don't have my laptop. Oh, okay. It's, it's hooked oh, yeah. up for the videos and everything. That's right. <laughs> what, so, that's my, so now, now you have to. So now play it out without music. Yeah, like, what does I, that look like, Peyton? Now here's the what thing. Is, what does playing thing. it to out the look audience, like? The audience, it's playing out right now. But we Sam had to ruin the illusion for everyone. So I did. I ruined it. I ruined everything. Hey, Peyton, I love you. <laughs> I love you too. Uh, Zeke, thanks for coming on. <laughs> we'll talk um, <laughs> after the show. <laughs> Alex. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, (laughs) Josh, again, thank you. Thank you, of Uh, course. This was a great episode. Um, If you enjoyed it, make sure you hit the uh, subscribe button, the bell icon, and leave a comment below. And uh, thanks again, guys, for everything. Always remember to listen, think, and then talk. Bye, guys.